Lab. Welcome back to the lab. Today we're going to take a look at something you don't normally see in a science lab. Food. Everyone loves food. From fresh strawberries, a delicious chicken salad to a tasty cheeseburger. The food we eat can be placed into different groups and the food in each group help our bodies in different ways. The key to healthy eating is to eat a variety of different foods from each food group. Let's take a look at each food group and see how they help our bodies. First up, fruit. I'm sure you know what goes in this group. Yep, apples, oranges, cherries, bananas, the list goes on. Fruits are rich in vitamins and minerals, which help you stay healthy and prevent you from getting sick. Fruits are also a great source of fibre, which is good for your digestive system too. Next, we've got the vegetable group. These are foods that come from different parts of plants. They include roots like carrots, beets and radishes, stems like celery and asparagus, and leaves like kale, spinach and lettuce. Like fruit, the foods in the vegetable group are rich in vitamins and minerals and are a good source of fibre too. Next up, grains. Grains are food that give your body energy. They are an important source of fibre, vitamins and minerals. Common grains include bread, rice, oats, cereals and pasta. Check to ensure the foods you eat from the grain group don't contain too much added salt or sugar. In the next food group are foods that are rich in protein. Protein is used by the body to repair and build muscles and keeps our tissues and organs healthy too. Foods in the protein group include lean meat, fish and other seafood, chicken and eggs. There's also plant-based proteins in foods like tofu, beans and lentils. And finally, we've got the dairy group. Dairy foods include milk and milk products like yogurt and cheese. There's also dairy alternatives like soy and almond milk. Dairy and dairy alternatives are rich in calcium, which is important for maintaining strong and healthy bones. Now you might be wondering which food group foods like ice cream, chocolate donuts and candy belong. Well although they taste pretty good and it's okay to eat them sometimes, these foods are high in fat, sugar or salt so they don't go into any of the main food groups. So there you have it, the five food groups, fruit, vegetable, grains, proteins and dairy. What meals have you got planned for tomorrow? See if you can name the food group each food belongs to. Thanks for learning and I hope to see you soon in the Lighthouse Lab. Bye!